want to get more from CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. Bill, it is amazing the action on YouTube already just in the last 24 hours. People playing music behind these videos anticipating <laughs> the end of the world. This seems like a much more likely explanation, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does, Harry. You know, rockets can fail in spectacular ways. And when you look at vehicles up out of the atmosphere where there's no pressure constraining those contrails, it gets quite dramatic. Uh, we had a YouTube video, I think, of a Trident missile launch off Cape Canaveral back in 1989 that as soon as the missile came out of the, out of the water, the nozzle went hard over and the, and the rocket just started spinning end over end just mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. this video looks very similar to that, and that would certainly be my assumption as to what went wrong. And I've been in Norway in the winter and seen the Aurora Borealis, which is spectacular, but it bears no resemblance to that whatsoever. No, it really doesn't. And, uh, you know, I've seen in the past they've done experiments before where they've released materials into the upper atmosphere uh, to study the ionosphere and things like that. And you get those same colors when those events happen. But in this case, this spinning plume motion uh, clearly indicated the, the failure of, a, of some kind of solid rocket motor. And can you imagine if you were standing there looking at the night sky and seeing that, how freaked out you would be? Bill Harwood, thank Indeed. you very, very much for your help this morning. Do appreciate it.